This unfortunate dog was on the verge of death, appearing severely malnourished and visibly suffering, as people indifferently passed by the frail-looking canine, all seemed lost until one individual stopped, a moment that is bound to bring tears to your eyes. Across the globe, many stray animals endure life on the streets, each day scavenging for food and hoping for someone to offer them a permanent home. Fortunately, some of these animals are rescued and find loving homes, however, numerous. Strays are not as lucky, continuing to live under harsh conditions. These animals never experience the joy of eating well, sleeping in a cozy bed, or receiving affection from a caring owner. Tragically, they often die without ever knowing the joys of a cherished life. In one corner of the world, a dog named Hercules once roamed the streets of Argentina as a stray, narrowly escaping death. Hercules's life hadn't always been so precarious, there was a time when he enjoyed a loving home with caring owners. Initially, he was adopted by a young couple whose marriage was teetering on the edge, struggling with fertility issues. They believed that caring for a dog might help strengthen their bond. Upon Hercules's arrival, the atmosphere in the home became more peaceful, and the frequent arguments subsided. The couple took excellent care of Hercules, and he even slept between them every night. However, after a few months, the couple's disputes resumed and escalated. Eventually, the couple came to the realization that they would be happier apart. Consequently, one day, the wife departed from their home and did not return. The following month, overwhelmed by the memories of his wife, the husband too decided to leave the home. In their own distress, they overlooked the welfare of their dog, who had once been their joy. The dog, named Hercules, was left to fend for himself, at first, as a stray. Hercules received kindness from people due to his appealing appearance, and they frequently fed him. However, as he began to look thin and unkempt, people's attitudes changed and they started to shoo him away, no longer finding him desirable. As time went on, life became increasingly harsh for Hercules living on the streets. The unfavorable weather soon led to him catching a cold, seeking warmth. Hercules found refuge in unclean surroundings, which unfortunately aggravated his health problems, resulting in a severe skin disease. This condition caused him to lose all his fur, eventually. He became too weak to search for food and spent his days in one spot, incessantly scratching his irritated skin. Over the course of a month or so, Hercules' health sharply declined. He grew extremely thin and could do nothing but lie down, waiting for the inevitable. By then, he had nearly lost all his fur and was hardly recognizable, his body thin and covered in dry, dirty skin. Hercules's story is particularly heartbreaking because he found himself alone on the streets during the festive holiday season. As Christmas approached, the streets were alive with activity and adorned with sparkling lights and festive trees. Despite the cheerful atmosphere, people bustling by Hercules were caught up in their holiday cheer, discussing their plans and festivities, yet none took a moment to assist the distressed animal. With only a week left until Christmas, Hercules's condition deteriorated rapidly, and he began to resemble more of a skeleton than a living dog. Passers-by either assumed he was already dead or, upon noticing he was still breathing, felt he was beyond saving resigned to his fate, they continued on their way with little more than a shake of their heads, leaving Hercules to fade away unnoticed, people shook their heads in sympathy and turned away, Hercules himself realized that no one else would come to his rescue, however, the assumption that the dog was beyond help proved incorrect, in fact, just two days before Christmas, a kind-hearted individual intervened in a way that would astonish anyone, on December 23rd, 2017, an animal rescuer named Pierre was visiting a friend in Buenos Aires, Argentina. During her visit, she learned from locals about an apparently lifeless animal in the area. Compelled to help, Pierre searched the neighborhood and eventually discovered the dog beside a house. She was horrified by the dog's condition. His barely open eyes were dull, and his thin, bony body was riddled with sores. The sight moved Pierre to tears, Pierre recounted. How she found the dog and approached it, gently kneeling beside him, in a soft, loving voice, she said, hey, at that moment, the dog looked up, 
met her gaze, and let out a groan, his whimpering deeply saddened her, it seemed as if he was communicating his immense pain, it's okay, I'm here now, I'll take you home, Pierre reassured him, even as the dog continued to groan, she quickly secured the dog in a carrier and hurried to a veterinarian she trusted, aware that time was critical and the dog might not survive without immediate care. Upon arrival, the veterinarian assessed the situation and informed Pierre that the dog's chances of survival depended on getting through the upcoming Christmas weekend. He also emphasized that Pierre would need to provide round-the-clock care for the dog, committed to the dog's recovery. Pierre was prepared to do whatever was necessary to ensure his well-being after the dog survived. I halted all my other activities to concentrate on his care following. His treatment by the vet, Pierre then took him home for recovery, creating a warm, cozy shelter for him, sitting by his side. She reassured him that she would stay with him, and all he needed to do was heal at his own pace. Unfortunately, despite Pierre's diligent care, the dog did not eat for the first three days and began losing weight, showing no desire to continue living, which was utterly devastating. Even though the dog refused food, Pierre made sure to keep him hydrated by giving him water every three hours and stayed by his side, so he knew he was not alone in his ordeal. The initial days were particularly tough, and there were two instances when Pierre feared the worst. The dog's condition was critical, he was on the verge of death and struggled even to breathe, as Pierre described, but after a challenging first week, there was a remarkable turnaround. Hercules began to show a fighting spirit and improved daily. Much to Pierre's delight, during his recovery, Pierre would support Hercules, encouraging him to walk, though initially, he was unable to do so. Patiently, Pierre reassured him that there was no rush. Then, three weeks into his recovery, a wonderful development occurred. Hercules stood up and began walking by himself, although he stumbled and fell after a few steps. Pierre was overjoyed, seeing this as a positive indication of his progress, the animal was struggling to survive. But over time, Hercules began to regain his strength, initially, he could manage a 30-minute walk before collapsing, but gradually, he extended this to an hour, and eventually, he could last a whole day, and then a week without faltering, soon enough, Hercules was energetically running and jumping around the house, much to Pierre's delight, it was during this recovery that Pierre, who had never known the stray's original name, decided to name him, she realized amidst her concern for him that she hadn't yet given him a name, and so she chose Hercules, after the Greek, God known for his great strength and heroic deeds, this name was perfectly suited to a dog who had endured so much and had fought bravely to recover, as Hercules continued to heal, he slowly regained his full strength. After two months of receiving proper care and affection from Pierre, Hercules not only regained his strength but also his fur began to grow back. Here's what Hercules looks like now, don't you just adore him? Who would have guessed that beneath that frail, skeletal creature lay? Such a cute, lovable, and vibrant soul. Initially, Pierre intended to put Hercules up for adoption once he was fully healed, but their bond became so deep that she found it impossible to part with him. I'm thrilled that Pierre's dedication has been fruitful. The animal rescuer and her furry companion now look forward to days brimming with fun, happiness, and love. This happy outcome would never have been possible if Pierre hadn't given Hercules a second glimpse. If you were in Pierre's shoes, what would you have done next? There is another story. Let's continue to see it. They discovered a grimy creature beside the road, but after cleaning it, they were astonished to see its true identity. Australia is home to many creatures that, as the saying goes, are more likely to harm you than befriend you. Yet, the country also hosts several adorable animals that pose no threat. One such unexpected encounter occurred when a farmer named Janelle stumbled upon one of these charming animals, caked in mud, on her land, early in the morning. As dawn broke over the sprawling farmland, farmer Janelle embarked on her routine tasks with a greater sense of urgency. The season had shifted, ushering in the rainy period marked by relentless, heavy downpours that had persisted for several consecutive days, with a pressing concern for her crops. 
Janelle set out to assess the extent of the damage caused by potential flooding, wondering if her hard work had been spared or devastated by the natural forces while navigating her way. Through the sodden fields, Janelle's attention was suddenly captured by an unusual sight amidst a dense, muddy puddle. There lay an animal, so encased in mud that its features were indiscernible, making identification difficult. From its small size, Janelle deduced it was likely a harmless creature, posing no threat to her safety. Initially, Janelle feared the worst, suspecting that the animal might have succumbed to the harsh elements overnight. However, as she approached, she realized with relief that it was still breathing, wasting no time, she contacted the Wildlife Rescue South Coast WRSC, which promptly dispatched a volunteer, Gavin Swan, to the scene. Upon arrival, Gavin carefully extracted the creature from its muddy trap, only to find it was a female wombat, severely injured and barely clinging to life. Heartbreakingly, the most compassionate course of action was to euthanize the wombat to spare her further suffering, as her injuries were too severe for recovery. Investigations revealed that the previous night's torrential rains had swept the wombat away from her usual path. Tragically, she had also suffered a head injury from an accidental kick by a horse. Despite her valiant effort to return to her burrow, located on the dam's edge, the relentless downpour had transformed the surrounding soil into a viscous clay, impeding her movements, exhausted and unable to enter her shelter. She had collapsed into the mud before laying the wombat to rest. Gavin checked her pouch, not expecting to find any survivors given the circumstances. Miraculously, he found a baby wombat alive inside. Quickly, he cleaned the mud cake Joey and wrapped her in a blanket, naming her Mudsy in reference to the conditions in which she was found. Mudsy was then transported to the Wildlife Rescue South Coast Shelter, where she underwent a thorough health examination revealing she weighed just three pounds. One, five kilograms. The young wombat was entrusted to Lynn Auburn, a dedicated wombat coordinator at the International Fund for Animal Welfare. Lynn, who runs the Wisdom Wombat Refuge from her property in Kangaroo Valley, New South Wales, lovingly took Mudsy under her care. Over the next 18 months, Mudsy thrived in her new sanctuary adapting well to her surroundings and forming bonds with other rescued wombats. She found solace and companionship in a wildlife sanctuary with two other female wombats named Tilly and Rosie, who had similarly lost their mothers due. To unfortunate circumstances, the trio often spent their days frolicking and exploring their surroundings together, with Mudsy particularly enjoying the company of her new friends as the seasons passed. Mudsy blossomed from a juvenile into a striking adolescent with a coat of pale gray fur. Her personality matured alongside her physical appearance, revealing a playful and mischievous side. Mudsy developed a penchant for cheekily snatching any available food, much to the amusement and sometimes exasperation of the sanctuary staff. Her curiosity knew no bounds, and she took every opportunity to climb whatever she could reach, using her small but determined paws. The sanctuary's employees and volunteers, including those who initially cared for her, found themselves increasingly enchanted by Mudsy's antics and her vibrant spirit. Her zest for life and endearing behaviors quickly made her a favorite among those who looked after her, further enriching the close-knit community at the sanctuary. Mudsy, the young wombat, found herself enveloped in love despite her initially tragic start in life. Her boundless affection, coupled with a playful and cheerful demeanor, quickly endeared her to those around her. After a period of dedicated care, Mudsy was eventually assessed to be ready for release into the wild. She had achieved a robust weight of 52 pounds, approximately 24 kilograms, and had mastered all the essential survival skills necessary for independent life. Her release was facilitated on a privately owned property equipped with a soft release system, an approach designed to ease the transition for rehabilitated animals. In Mud Ice case, a new burrow or natural habitat was prepared in advance to provide her with immediate shelter. This setup not only offered her a secure place to live but also allowed her to gradually acclimate to her new surroundings. 
the soft release system was instrumental in helping Mud Eyes develop a geographic memory of her territory. Crucial for her long-term survival and well-being in the wild to ensure that Mudsy, the wombat, acclimated well to her new surroundings without getting lost, she was allowed to scatter her scent around her new home. This scent marking was also a way for the other local wombats to become familiar with her presence. Once she felt fully at ease, Mudsy would have the opportunity to dig her own burrow, tailoring it exactly to her preferences. Mudsy was in a soft release area, a designated zone where the property owners and caretakers closely monitor the reintroduced wombats. These caretakers are committed to observing the wombat's progress while minimizing human interference, allowing the animals to adapt to their natural environment independently. However, they remain vigilant and ready to step in if necessary, should a wombat find the transition to wild living too challenging, or if an injury occurs, the volunteers are prepared to intervene, they would then bring the affected wombat back to the shelter, ensuring it could continue living in a safer, more controlled environment. Fortunately for Mudsy, her transition into the wild was successful, illustrating the effectiveness of the soft release strategy in helping wombats adjust to their natural habitat while providing a safety net. The wombat quickly adapted to her new surroundings, showing a keen interest in exploring the diverse terrain of her new habitat. She seemed intrigued by the variety of new sights and sounds that she encountered, which significantly differed from her previous environment. Gradually, she became more comfortable and familiar with her new home, reaching a point where she was ready to be fully released back into the wild. Once she had regained her freedom, Lynn, one of the dedicated caretakers who had closely monitored her progress, harbored hopes that the wombat would remain in the vicinity. Lynn also optimistically wished that the wombat would find a mate and eventually start a family of her. Own, unlike her previous experience, it was hoped that this time she would be capable of raising her offspring without human intervention. This successful reintroduction into the wild was made possible through the efforts of compassionate individuals like Gavin, Lynn, and numerous other volunteers who dedicate their time to wildlife conservation. Their commitment to these causes ensures that remarkable creatures like this wombat have the opportunity to thrive again in their natural habitat, embodying the profound impact of wildlife rehabilitation and conservation efforts. Despite the heartbreaking beginnings of her life, Mudsy managed to carve out a new existence for herself, one that brought her immense joy and fulfillment. It's truly an inspiring tale, isn't it? I'd love to hear your thoughts on her story, so please share your comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated with all the latest videos I post on my channel. If you're eager for more content and can't wait, feel free to visit my channel where you'll discover plenty of other fantastic videos.